Good morning. Today we are making a crock pot meal. This is my last recipe for Crocktober. Can I just say that this month of, of crock pot meals has been absolutely amazing. I have gotten so many great recipes. So big shout out to Ginny Goff for um, putting this collab together because I'm telling you it has been an amazing one. So what we're doing is we're starting off with the pork loin and I just added some minced garlic and I'm going to rub all over um, my pork loin. Then I'm gonna go wash my hands because my hands are probably gonna smell like garlic for the rest of the week, but I can't think of a different way to do this that's better than just your good old hands. Next up, we're gonna add salt, pepper, and sage to both sides of our pork loin. So I have full confession. Are you guys like me and buy sage every single Thanksgiving? I probably have three things of sage that I have unopened. So this Thanksgiving, I'm vowing not to buy pumpkin spice um, mix and sage for Thanksgiving because I have plenty of both. We're gonna transfer our pork loin over to our crock pot. Lastly, we're going to add a half a cup of water. We're gonna put the lid on, cook it on low for six hours. Our sides for our pork loin tonight are gonna to be baked sweet potatoes and corn casserole. We, our pork loin has been going for about five hours. We're gonna go ahead and start working on the marinade. I'm starting on my sweet potatoes as well. My oven is on, is preheating to 450 degrees. I have cleaned my potatoes and poked holes to let the steam escape. There's my oven. So my sweet potatoes are in the oven for one hour. We're gonna go ahead and we're gonna work on the marinade. I've got dark brown sugar. You can use light brown sugar as well. I just had dark on hand. Um, Boslamic vinegar. And as a reminder, I'll have this recipe in the description box below. Water. Soy sauce and cornstarch. I'm gonna turn my heat on medium, medium high heat. We're gonna want this to come up to temperature and cook for about four minutes so that the sauce starts to thicken and to make sure that all of the sugar has fully dissolved. I'll be back once the four minutes cooking time is done. All right, guys, our four minute cook time is finished. So we're gonna remove this um, glaze or marinade, whatever you wanna call it, off the heat. And we're gonna move on to the next step. We have one hour of cook time left. So what we're gonna do is several times throughout this hour, we are going to brush this with our mixture. My house already smells so good, so I can't imagine what it's gonna smell like once this gets in here and really starts doing its thing. So I'm gonna repeat this step several times. Any leftover sauce that we have, juice, marinade, glaze, <laughs> whatever we're gonna call it, that goes on the side for dipping sauce. I'm gonna put my lid back on and I'll be back in about 10 minutes to keep basting. When our hour cook time is done, I'll show you what the finished product looks like. Hey guys, I know I mentioned Jenny Goff and this wonderful Crocktober collab a little bit earlier. One to come back and give you all the details. I'm sure you've heard it by now as we're approaching the end of the month, but I just wanted to give you the rundown. Below in the description box, there is a playlist link with all of the great crock pot recipes for the entire month of October. In addition, there's this massive channel listing of everybody that participated as well. 
You have to go check out the playlist. So much crock pot motivation. I have enjoyed so much this month of crock pot meals. I know I've said it twice because I really, really enjoyed it. Next up, don't forget on November the 1st, Jenny is going to be doing a giveaway. She's gonna pick a random video throughout the month and she's going to um, put all, everyone who put a comment on a video, she's gonna put them in a, a drawing to win a free crock pot. So if you've gotten a little bit behind on the videos, make sure that you catch up, you like and comment um, prior to November 1st. Also, if you enjoy the videos, don't forget to subscribe to that channel. I know that they will really appreciate it. All right, guys. So what we're gonna do is we, I could not find any cream of can, cream of corn, regular size cans. So I've got three small uh, cans of corn. I was completely out of them and my husband ran to the grocery store and I just picked up, he picked up these small um, eight ounce cans for me. To this bowl, um, I'm gonna add all of the corn and I have already added in a stick of softened butter. Our whole kernel corn we're not going to drain. Sour cream. I will have this recipe linked below in the description box as well. I do two eggs. I have my oven preheating on 325 degrees. Next, we're gonna add in one box of corn muffin mix from Jiffy. And just a little bitty dash of cayenne pepper. You can leave this out if you don't want um, a little bit of kick. I'm gonna add about that much, tiny little amount with all that um, liquid and with the corn muffin mix that will not definitely not make that spicy. The recipe for this casserole that I'm going to put in the description box it is from someone in the South that does not have Jiffy, um, uh, not in the South, what am I talking about, in Australia, um, that does not have Jiffy Mix. So if you read the whole blog post, um, it will tell you that. So the recipe actually gives you step-by-step -step instructions to make the Jiffy Mix. So um, we just cheated and used Jiffy. All right. Next up, I have a casserole dish, and the recipe did not say to um, spray with cooking spray, but I went ahead and did because I didn't want it to stick. So, um, you know what? I forgot to add something. See, I got to talking y'all and I forgot what I was doing. I need to add two tablespoons of vegetable oil to this as well. All right, we're gonna give this another really good mix to get that. Um, oil incorporated. All right, now we're ready for our dish. We're gonna pour in our mixture. We're gonna get this into our preheated oven for 55 to 60 minutes, depending on how fast your oven cooks. The recipe did say that um, the middle may be a little jiggly, but it will set as it continues to cool off. Our corn casserole just came out of the oven. It looks so good. I'm excited to give this a try to see um, if I like this recipe or if there's anything that I would wanna change. So you guys, I think it's about time to eat. I'm gonna get our dinner plated up and then I'll be back. Here is my plate for dinner tonight. I have my corn casserole and I have my Boslamic brown sugar crock pot pork loin. I did not do a sweet potato. I made both of those for my husband, so he has plenty of leftovers tomorrow. I cannot wait to dive in. I would like to take just a second to thank Jenny Goff from Jenny's Scratch Made Kitchen for hosting this entire month long collab. I know it was a big undertaking getting everything scheduled and getting everything added to the playlist. Just wanted to tell you thank you for allowing me to participate and thank you for putting together this great playlist for the month of October. Thank you so much for joining along 
And don't forget, Jesus loves you. I'll see you guys in the next one.